I think he had to go through whatever he went through to get to this really wonderful place. I saw him come in with the animal control officer and I went out back with him and I immediately hugged him and he became part of my heart. And um, I loved him then. We don't really know what had transpired. He had definite wounds around his muzzle, like it was constricted with what we don't know. It wasn't on there when he came in. However, the whole right side of his muzzle had been completely severed through and you could actually see into his mouth through that wound. He wanted to lick our faces. He was wagging his tail like, oh my gosh, somebody found me and now I'm gonna be happy. He was welcoming and happy to see anybody who wanted to pay attention to him. Every day you could see healing, 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 healing. And he still, his temperament and his personality was still always true to how he came in and he didn't seem to care. He would eat peanut butter if you gave it to him and try and lick it off his lips. It was just, it was amazing to see how well he did as a patient. And he was with us for probably a month. And then we were, well, I was heartbroken that he was leaving, but I knew he had to go to a good place. And so now we know where he is and we can keep tabs on him. And she promises to bring him to visit us. So it's all good. It was like it was meant to happen so that he could find this wonderful place.